Well, hello everybody, it's Rose. And today I'm back with you uh, for something a little bit different. So as you will have seen from the title card, today I'm doing um, a show and tell on what I got from Ikea and from Michaels. So I went shopping at Ikea on Thursday. Um, just before, well, yeah. Uh, Holy Thursday, I guess it is. And um, I bought a bunch of stuff. All of it is meant for diamond painting. So even though I've opened some of the stuff up, um, I wanted to show you what it is uh, so that you could, if you have an Ikea near you, you could go and you could get some if you thought that it might be useful for you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is, uh, it's called Var Variero. And it, there's the, the item number. And what it is, it's an anti-slip sort of plasticky coating that um, you can line your drawers with, the kitchen drawers and so forth. Now, I've, I've already cut a piece of this off. Um, it's, okay, so I'll show you. It's, it's kind of nubbly on one side, and then it's flat on the other. And I thought I could use this um, instead of, um, whatchamacallit, uh, silicone baking mats. And because it comes in, a, in quite a large sheet, so it's a meter and a half, which is a little more than a yard and a half, okay? Um, so about four and a half feet. Uh, and four and a half? 1.5 meters. Yeah, it's about a yeah, it's a yard and a half. Um, by what is it? 50.4. So about a foot and a half. Okay. Uh, so it, it'll fit standard IKEA size drawers. So if you don't want to use it for drawers, you can use it for all kinds of things. Now what I uh, have found is it is a little bit curly. So I'm just gonna roll it up the other way. Now the piece that I cut off, I'll show you uh, in a minute, I'll take you off of the, um, I will take you out of the holder and I'll just show you what I'm doing with it right now. Um, because I, I'm just, I'm trying to flatten that piece out as naturally as possible. Um, so this I'm gonna roll the opposite way. There we go, I think I have here. Um, one of these little elastics from one of the diamond paintings I got from China. So I'm just going to take this wrapping paper, which is a little bit sticky, and just use it to wrap this up and keep it out of the way. Okay, so anyway, that's my first thing. Let me show you what I'm doing with it right now. I am back to working on the Japanese princess. And so what I'm doing, because this bar here holds the princess down onto the uh, table, uh, and usually what I do is I take a tea towel and I throw the tea towel over top of the diamond painting that's done, so that, um, and I put it underneath the bar, so that A, it protects the diamond painting from these little uh, ball bearings in here that roll up and down because this it's a drafting table and that's meant to sort of be a straight edge that uh, rolls up and down the table. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I am using this piece which last night I clipped so that it would flatten out and with this it covers the biggest part of the diamond painting. I was just testing it out so it doesn't really matter um, but it covers the biggest part of the diamond painting and uh, protects it from my cats. So that's one thing. And then um, as I you know, continue to work on the diamond painting, it goes further and further over and then over the edge of this. And then I don't need, like I only need this much of it covered at any given time. The other thing I use it for, uh, before I used it for this, because I just started back on the Japanese princess last night, I was working on the stained glass flower and I didn't want to move my diamond, my princess off of the drafting table. 
so I used this, I put it down on top of the princess, and so that kept my light pad from sliding around. Um, I put my light pad on top of it, and it kept my light pad from sliding around. So, um, so that's what I've been doing with that. And I'm going to find other uses for this stuff. I had a technical glitch with my camera, and so I don't know what happened to the next five or ten minutes, but it didn't record. So the Viz, the Variera drawer liner costs seven ninety nine Canadian, which would be probably about five fifty American. Five inches by ten and a half, well by eleven inches. And then this one, I bet you, is 11 by 11. There we go. Yeah, it's 11 by 11. Wait. How can I show this to you so that it's all on camera? And then the, Yeah, okay, so 11 by 11. So uh, for these, again, you get six. And the scub uh, is $10 Canadian or about $7.50 American. Okay, so that's what I got there. I'm just going to put these away and show you the next thing. And I mean, I, I plan on storing diamond painting stuff in this, but if for any reason I didn't want to store diamond painting stuff in it or it didn't work out for me for whatever reason, I've got these really nifty storage boxes, which are great for storing underwear or t-shirts or you name it. Um, you know, small toys, you can put them in, you know, bathroom drawers, etc. So they're, they're great for all kinds of different things. All right, so the reason that I went to Ikea in the first place is because I wanted frames. So let me show you the frames that I got. I'll start with the minimalist stuff. So this is called Vizback. And I'm going to open one of them up. Uh, the other one is the same. But these, essentially, you hang, like you put them on the top and the bottom of something. They have these clips here that the, in my case, the diamond paintings will uh, clip under. And um, and then Bob's your uncle. On the back they have this uh, this hanging thing here, so that you can have like a nail or a hook or whatever in the wall, and it just hangs in there. So let's open one up on spring if possible. Forgive me. I do not want to be dropping this on my table. So I'm being uh, more careful than usual. I would hate to break the glass on my table. This table has been through a lot in the 25 years or so that I've had it. And um, I hope it's going to be with me for 25 more because I love this table so much. Okay. Um, Gently put that down. Uh, I'm, I'm being careful here because I want to use this again. I don't need that though. All right, so we'll take that off. We'll take this off. And so here's what you've got. You've got these two. Um, the the clips are screwed on. Well, let's see. Clips are screwed on at the back, so the back is flat ish. And then these clips are, let me just tell you, they are very, very tight. Um, they are very, very tight. Here's the little instruction sheet that comes with it. Number one. Great! This is even better than I thought. Okay, so it's got a back and a front. And so you would put the diamond painting between them. Let's just, uh, hold on, let me get one. I just did 
did one. All right. So I think, I don't know if by now I've already posted this one, but um, let's just say I wanted to frame this one. So I would put that here like this. I would put this other one back behind it. Oops. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, I have to do this down here. All right. Let's see. Let's try it out. I should actually put something underneath that. Huh. Um, I should. I don't want to scratch up my table too much, but anyway. So. Okay, so first you want to make sure it's nice and centered. I'm not sure I'm going to get this. All right, I'm getting there. It's not perfect, but I don't care. I'm just trying to show you how it would work. Now I'm going to straighten this out just a wee bit. That's not that straight. Okay, well, anyway. Um, if, if this were a real mounting job, that would be very, very straight. And then it just hangs, because there's enough pressure that, uh, that it'll, it'll hang nicely. So let's just try this again. That's better. So what I would do is I would cut off this part down to here and here down to here. I would make that sure that that was, um, so I'd cut off both sides uh, and then essentially maybe like a few centimeters, like a few millimeters more at the top so that um, this line was just hidden. Um, I think I might uh, glue some gold uh, yarn, not yarn, but gold twine or something like that around the edge just to have it be a little bit more framed and then just have this hang and then um, with the bottom part on there as well oh, no, no. but if I put the bottom part on then this would hang on the wall uh, you know the, the bottom part would hold it taut and, uh, and then you got a super cheap framing job. And I haven't told you how much the price of this is. But, and the other thing that's nice about this is if you like to change out your, your diamond paintings that you're hanging, it's so easy to just open it up and put a different diamond painting in. So this is the Visbach. And where's the Visbach? Okay, so the small one that is uh, 41 centimeters is uh, $6.99. And the one that's 61 centimeters, this one here, uh, here, that one is $8.99. So again, you know, about $6 American, something like that for the big one. And uh, I don't know, five, five, five fifty, something like that. Canadian, uh, or for the small one. So again, super cheap they're not horribly ugly or anything like that I mean I don't know if you like the uh, the black here but if you don't like the black I suppose you could paint over that with something gold or silver or I don't know but then I don't know I kind of like it as a minimalist option for framing so that is the Visbach and I got two of those. I'm going to try it and see how much I like it. I wasn't sure what I was getting when I first got, when I bought it. So like, I was just like, hmm, this looks interesting. It doesn't cost a fortune. So I'm going to get it and see what's what. Uh, I'm going to stick that. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to forget how to do it. Okay. So let me just put these back together. And there we go. There we go. And oops. And there we go. All right. Wasn't that fun, people? Okay. So that's the, the two.
two Visbox. So I got the two. So this one, uh, 60, 61 centimeters. Uh, let's give you that in inches. Um, so the short one. is 16 inches, I bet you, the, oh, this one is 24 inches, it tells me right there, so 16 inches and 24 inches. All right, so that's that. Let me put my diamond painting back. Okay, uh, then what? Uh, then I got another frame. This is the Versurum, and it is a 12 by 16 inch frame or with the mat, eight by 10. Um, so this is, again, without the mat, it's standard size for many of the diamond paintings that we buy. It's 31 by 41 centimeters, okay? Or 20 by 25 centimeters. So, uh, so you could easily put a diamond painting in there and it would look great. For this frame, uh, what is it called? Your serum. Let's see, your serum, okay, uh, 31 by 41 centimeter, there it is, $16 Canadian. So what's that in American? Probably about 10 bucks, maybe 10 50 something like that. I don't know, my math's not great, but again, it's about uh, three quarters of the Canadian cost. Uh, checking the exchange today, a Canadian dollar is point. Seven four six something American, so close enough to one dollar Canadian, seventy five cents American. Okay, so that's the Vir Serum, and again they had this in gold. I believe they had it in silver. They had it in black. They had it in white. Then I got this one. It's kind of like a cheapy, very cheapy one. This is the. Fiscbo, 12 by 16 inches or 31 by 41 centimeters. So as you see, it's got a smaller profile. I actually bought this one to frame my pastel dragonfly. And uh, let's see, the Fiscbo cost me $6 Canadian. So about $4.50 American. Um, you can't go wrong. I, you, you cannot go wrong with this. All right. And then I got another one um, in the 12 by 16 inch or 31 by 41. And again, it's got a mat already in it. So you could uh, easily, um, uh, you know, you could frame something small if you had something small. And this Edsbrook, and again, the Edsbrook came in black and white. I'm trying to remember if it came in other colors. Can't remember. Um, but you can see the, uh, and you can see the article numbers for all of them on the receipt. But the Edsbrook cost me $15. So that was one of the more expensive frames. Um, $15 Canadian, so what, about $11, $11. Yeah, about $11 American probably. Uh, so that's not, again, that's not bad for framing something that you spent a whole lot of time on. All right, I'm going to put these away because now I've got some bigger ones to show you. All right, so next comes the Silver Hojden. All right, I won't be able to put it, um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it all. This is 50 by 70, okay? So for me, I like my 50 by 70 diamond paintings. So this is going to hold one of those. Or with the mat, it holds a 40 by 50. So I could use this frame for two different diamond paintings. And they, again, they sell this with the silver, you know, the brushed nickel finish. Uh, I believe they sell it with a brushed gold finish. I can't remember if they sell it with uh, in black and white. Um, I don't recall. But once again, what did I pay for this? The silver hodged in 50 by 70. That was $25 Canadian. Uh, so uh, 25 divided by 4. 
is about six, uh, six fifty, so about nineteen dollars American, maybe. Which again, that is not a bad price uh, for something this versatile. And then it's got on the back, it's got you know the mounting hardware. Uh, it's got some screws and things like that. And it's got, you know, you can hang it either way. So, um, so yeah, so that's nice. And I've got one more frame. Oh, but I also, okay, sometimes it's just like, I got to buy it. I don't know what the hell it is, but I got to buy it. So I bought this. It was on sale in the Now or Never for um, 99 cents. And I think... It is like a, I think it's, oh my god, it's humongous. I think what you do is you can make mats. Like it, it allows you to sort of figure out how mats are made. Or like what size of a mat you need for something. So it's got all these different all these different sizes of um, artwork or pictures or whatever. Um, you know what? I have, I actually I have no idea what this is, but I figured since it was now or never, which means they're not making it anymore, and since it was ninety nine cents. And since I got to Ikea, like five minutes before, um, before they opened, and so once their doors are unlocked, you can go to the cafeteria and you get free coffee until opening hours. Uh, and then as soon as the store is officially open, they start charging you for coffee. So I got a free coffee, so I figured, what the heck, I'll get, I'll spend 99 cents on whatever this is. I'll see if I can make use of it in the future. Okay, and then, um, oh, let me show you one other thing that I got at Ikea, and that is this rather large storage container. Okay, so this is, um, and you pay for the top separately. This is called a Samla. There's the number, 56 centimeters by 39 centimeters by 28 centimeters. Um, so that's 22 inches by 15 and 1 eighth, I think that is, uh, by 11 inches. So a 12 gallon container, 45 liter container, uh, and this is large, okay? This is, this is a very large container. And for this, so the box cost me $6.99, and the lid cost me $3. So for $9.99, or $7.50, I got this humongous box, okay? Which I was using to store my drills. Because uh, this much smaller box that I got, it's a, this is a file box that I got at Staples uh, a few months ago, and I've been using it for my um, Peggy by haul. So the only thing is that's in here are the diamonds from the humongous Peggy by haul. This one is a 34.1 liter, I don't know, uh, 9.01 gallons, so a nine gallon box compared to an 11 gallon box. And uh, this one cost me eight dollars and ninety nine cents. So for a dollar more, you get uh, you get a lot more area, uh, not area. You get a lot more volume. Okay. So I'm almost finished with IKEA. Uh, the last thing that I got at IKEA, and I know you won't be able to see all of this. But, and I'm not going to be able to hold it up, but it's this frame, and again, it's 61 by 91. So without the mat, you can put a large diamond painting in here. And uh, with the mat, 
you can get a 50 by 70 in there. So again, a lovely, a lovely size. I have a lot of 60 by 80s, so that's why I bought this. And um, yeah, it's it's not all fitting on, on the screen. It's just it's just too big. Um, and what did I pay for it? What's it called? Hopsta. All right, let's see what my Hopsta cost me. Where's my Hopsta? There it is. So 61 by 90, I paid $30 for this frame, okay? So divide 30 by four, it's about, I don't know, seven, 50 more or less, times three. So about 20, 23, 22, $23 American. Not bad, not bad. Um, I'm super happy with this. Can you tell from my voice? And then again, on the back, they've got the, uh, the metal hanging um, stuff and they give you some uh, screws, I guess. I don't know what the screws are for. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Super happy with this, in fact. I'm extremely happy with this. So this is the third time I've tried to record this video because my camera keeps kicking out. I don't know why. Um, so the last piece that I bought from Ikea is this Algot storage system. So it is, I think, meant for a closet storage system. It's got the mesh baskets that have handles on each end. Um, and uh, it's just got a frame. Now you can buy a 100 centimeter high frame, which is 39 inches, uh, and you can put larger baskets in it. Um, I got the smaller baskets, smaller frame. This is 70 centimeters. This whole system that you see here cost me um, $49.99, which is about $35 American. Um, I'll show you, oh, the top is, uh, I attached that with the hardware that uh, they give you to mount the back of the piece to a wall uh, so that it doesn't fall over if, uh, you know, if you've got heavy stuff in the front of the baskets or something, uh, but I won't need that for this. So, um, cause I do plan to, like I wanted something that would slide underneath my drafting table. And as you see, it's, it slides beautifully underneath the drafting table. So it's got four drawers. So the bottom drawer, I've got, um, my spare drills in from previous projects. Uh, I haven't found a use yet for the second drawer. I've got just odds and ends and an empty storage container in here. I probably will move that eventually. And right now I'm using the top drawer for my spare drills for my current project. Um, I did buy these two containers. They clip on. Um, they're meant, I think, for bathroom, but the lovely thing about Ikea is that everything works with everything else. And so I bought a couple of those and I just store my odds and ends that I need access to on a regular basis. In there and so that just slides in there like that and um, yeah it's really good I'm very happy with it I've been using it now since well for a week and uh, I love it it took me I don't know maybe 10 minutes to build maybe 15 the hardest part about building it was figuring out how these corner pieces on the end uh, that stop it from uh, coming out the back work um, and and like that took me maybe a few minutes oh I've got a couple of clips just clipped on the handle of the bottom there anyway so these things are super super um, versatile you could use it for anything if I decide I don't want to use it for diamond painting I can put it in a closet um, so the top these the small one does not come with a top uh, there are some Algot systems that you can buy a top for. Anyway, so I just used a, a, a laminated mounted um, print of my favorite painting and uh, put that on top. It's laminated, so it's a little bit waterproof, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Minwax on it, uh, some polyurethane, just to make sure that it stays um, impermeable. And that's it. That is the last thing that I got from Ikea. So I'm going to get all of this stuff out of the way, and then I'm going to show you what I got at Michael's just now. So I was out 
um, for an appointment and um, decided, what the heck, I want to stop in at Michael's. So I did. Because that's how I roll, folks. And here's what I got. I, I never, I almost never get bags. I carry my own bag. All right, so let's do this bit by bit. All right, so um, the first thing that I got is, uh, well, it was actually the la one of the last things that I found, but I got it because when I posted the video that was, you know, how to make a free multi drill tray holder, um, and I used the shoe box. And, you know, I had a bunch of people coming up with comments about how they could fix, you know, how, how you could do something even better. So I already, I already got myself a couple of uh, a few, um, containers. I'm going to bring you down now because nothing that I got at uh, Michael's is that big. So we can get down nice and close. Okay. I might have to move you up again, but not just yet. Okay. So sorry for the fingers there. All right, so um, I was actually looking, I, I hoped to find something very similar to this, but that was a little bit longer. So this is, how long is it? I'll do it in inches and then in millimeters, or centimeters rather. So the inside of this box is just over seven, seven centimeters, uh, seven inches long and four and a half uh, inches wide and in centimeters that's 18 by uh looks like 11. okay so um and i thought i'll probably be able to hold you know four or five trays in there and so uh for these trays which i've already got labeled for the uh, diamond paintings that i've been working on I can put four of them in here, okay? Uh, I could, you know, if, if I, yeah, I could put four of them in here easily. What I also got, because one of the things I don't like about uh, the way I'm doing things with the, um, with the uh, shoe box is that I, I use blue tack to attach the boats to the uh, shoe box lid. And I mean, it works, but it's not the bestest. So I bought these magnetic cards that have adhesive on them. And I'm just going to try this. Um, I've never bought any of this stuff before, you guys. So I am truly just testing it out. So these two items go together as far as I'm concerned. First, let's see whether the, yeah, it's, it's not super magnetic, but it's a little magnetic. Um, so I might have to buy more of these, but the idea is that I cut that. I want to try with just a little tiny bit for now. Um, so let's see how this works. Because what I don't want is the trays like flopping around. I really want the trays to be under control. So let me stick one in there and let's see. Yeah, like I'm, I'm shaking. I'm shaking, shaking, shaking. And that tray, like it's moving a little tiny bit. You can hear it as it hits the side. But I mean, if I were to, you know, accidentally bump my tray or something like that, this would not fly off. Okay. So that's, that's strong enough to hold these in place. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. So uh, I think that'll be good. Um, I, I could have bought a bigger box and, you know, meanwhile, I can use this box, the, the bottom of the box to hold stuff, um, that I keep near me all the time when I'm diamond painting. Anyway, 
Um, so I can use, I can use this. Uh, I have found that I, I, I diamond paint much, much faster when I'm using multiple uh, trays. Okay, so let's see. Oh. Well, I'm holding them straight up, pretty much straight up and down here. Uh, very close to a 90 degree angle and they're not sliding off. So that's good. That's what I wanted. Um, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, you can also buy this tape, this, um, this stuff in a tape, but there was more of it if you bought it in the cards. So I figured I'll just cut up the cards. And if I have to use two strips of, of this uh, magnetized uh, stuff, um, on each on each one of the boats that's fine too it's it's fine anyway so what did I pay for that well let's see uh, okay oh I got a whole bunch of discounts I wasn't checking I, I, the only thing I told her was I wanted the uh, discount because I had a 45% off coupon uh, for one item and so I got uh, I, I said I want that to be used for the lockables so for the silver tin, I paid $5.39. And for the magnetic, the magnetic cards, I paid $6.75 more or less. $6, yeah, $6.75. So I can't do the math on that to figure out what that is in American. Um, so you'll have to do the math yourself. Uh, okay, so that's item number one that I picked up. I'll just put that all together. There we go. And see, it's still on there. Uh, okay, uh, so that's item number one. Okay, how can I start closing? Oh, because, because, there. Okay, perfect. And then I bought some glitter. I, I got the snow. This is extra fine. I mean, that is super, super fine. Because those of you who have been watching my channel uh, know that I've discovered uh, urethane, uh, verethane, whatever. Uh, min, I use Minwax, but you could use um, you could use other other brands of uh, polyurethane. Um, it's a varnish kind of thing, but it's 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 made out of urethane, polyurethane, and uh, I use that to seal my diamond paintings now, and. Um, I'm not sure if you lose a little bit of sparkle. I think you might lose a little bit of sparkle. I think any sealant that you use on a diamond painting, you're going to lose some sparkle. So I figured if I add a little bit of sparkle by buying super, super fine glitter, um, I'll just put a, a little bit of this into the Verithane and then brush it all on. Uh, and so I'm hoping to retain some sparkle. It's fake sparkle, but it's sparkle, you know, and it's my piece of art once I buy it. So I can do whatever the heck I want. So I bought that. They have this in a vast variety of colors. And the sparkle cost me uh, $6.74 after the, after the discount. There we go. So again, I don't know what that is in American. Uh, so I was happy with that. And then I bought another paintbrush because I don't know if the paintbrush that I used for the swamp party um, is gonna be too stiff now to use on um, the hua can that I just finished, the stained glass flower. Um, and I'll be doing a post review on that soon, so I'm not going to talk a lot about that. But um, but I so I bought another another paintbrush, and it was 99 cents. I think it was 99 cents. Hey, it was supposed to be. I thought it was 99. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be 99 cents. They charged me a dollar 52. Yeah, I'm not happy about that because I'm sure it was in the 99. Like there was a, a 99 cent sale. Uh, sign on the uh, on the um, uh, what you call it the display shelf and then I bought this 
So it's eight rolls of colored masking tape, which I figured I could use instead of washi tape because I'm not having great luck with washi tape, people. I just am not. And so uh, it's eight 12 yard, oops, eight 12 yard uh, rolls. So I can get quite a few diamond paintings done with this. Um, and where's the, the tape? Where's the tape? There we go. Uh, oh, I didn't get any discount on that. And it was $15, which again is more than it was advertised. So I think I have to go back to Michael's. Anyway, um, I think I have to go back to Michael's. And then the last thing I got was the Craftmates Lockable. I've seen this. So many people have this and a lot of people love it and so I wanted to try it out and I had sourced it at um, Michael's it's more expensive on uh, Amazon I think so uh, when I got the 45% off coupon I decided I'm gonna use it on a lockables so uh, I got it and that is the first item here. Oops, that's the first item here. And so after my 45% off coupon, I spent $17.59 Canadian, which divide by four, about 650 times three. It's about $19. No, it's not. No, it's not. No. Just a minute. Let me let me figure this out again. Uh, I don't know. So it's about twelve dollars. Let's say twelve dollars American. You guys, math not my strong suit. Okay. So I got the the Craftmates lockable. I'm happy. Um, sorry if this is really loud here because I'm right over top of the phone. Uh, so I think I think you all know how these work. You slide them out. How do you slide them out? How do you slide them out? She wants to know. Mm, mm, mm. Are they taped in here? Okay, hold on. I have to figure this out. I have got to figure this out. Maybe it's... All right. Why is it not... Oh, okay. It's just sticking... There we go. Okay, it's just because it was sticking to the plastic. And then what do you do? Then what do you do? Okay, then you have to push in this this button on the side and that releases the lock. Otherwise, it's not going anywhere. So these are super secure, uh, which is good. And they're really big containers. And so I would not be surprised if you could fit like I don't know, 3,000 diamonds in there, 2,000 diamonds, you know, probably two to 3,000 diamonds, maybe more. And for my big projects that I have coming up, um, I'm going to, I think I'll use these. And 56, because there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's eight uh, of, of these. And so... Um, 56 containers. I have a diamond painting that has 79 colors. No, 89 colors. I said 90, but there were only 89. Anyway, um, so even this won't be enough, but between this and my Doris containers, or even just those little 28 um, little boxes that have 28 uh, little squares inside, because you know, my 90 colors, some of them, there's just one or two bags. And so I could, you know, I could use one of those 28 containers. So 56 and 20 is 76 and eight is 80 some. Um, so it, I'd mostly be good with, uh, with that. Anyway, so, and I've always wanted, I've always wanted this. So I got it and I paid $17 and some odd cents for it. So I'm happy, I'm happy. So that's, uh, that is my haul from Ikea and Michaels. And I know I went into a great deal of detail on this, um, but I hope that uh, you found it interesting. 
Um, if you have had experience with some of this stuff in the past, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, if you're from Canada and uh, shop at Michael's on a regular basis, let me know what the best way is of addressing the mistakes that they made on the bill. Um, and tell me if they have that, uh, you know, scanner, truth and scanning policy where you get the item for, uh, for free if it's under $10 if they scan it wrong. Uh, because there were two items that scanned wrong. And if I get them for free, it might be worth going back. Uh, okay, so that's it, everybody. I want to thank all my subscribers for sticking with me through my long-winded videos. Uh, and for my viewers who stick with me through my long-winded videos too, well, congratulations. Thank you. You made it to the end. But what's stopping you from, from subscribing? I would love for you to subscribe. But if you don't, that's okay. Just leave me a comment down below. Uh, about what you saw today or anything really tell me about you know what color is the sky where you are anyway um because i always look forward to hearing from you so that's it uh i'm gonna finish this video now bye